York sign saying, you just voted to put us out of business, they thought, we're going to have to start a new division on cap and trade. And we're going to have to trade this stuff. So again, sort of uh, under the guise of somehow green jobs or whatever it is, you know, green technology, uh, again, you know, it, it's not, we're not being told the truth. And, and we, would dra we would drastically transform our country uh, through something like cap and trade. So I, I'll, I'll stop now. There's a, a website. I have a website, edmartinforcongress.com. Uh, if you're interested to find out more, a little bit about more, a little more about me, it's a pretty basic site because uh, we're kind of just starting out and it's me and my family and that's about it in terms of people who are working on it a lot. Uh, but we have a lot of people that have signed up for email updates to, to uh, volunteer and to be involved and uh, I will tell you, I'm not sure what we're going to do about it, but your point earlier, um, I've gotten more emails in the last three days, really two mostly, from people saying you should have a health care forum because people just want to air their concerns. Yeah. And if no one really right, if no one will listen, <laughs> and we're trying to figure out I'm trying to figure out in many ways my goal with Ask at Anything Gatherings was to be in small settings and hear from people and kind of go out. So having larger meetings is something you know, again, I'm trying to work during the day to make a living and, and so it's, but I think what most important again, what you just reacted to People want to raise their voices and say, hey, what's going on? And it's not just us that come here on Saturday. It's my neighbors who never do anything political, never think. They want to say, what's the story? What's happening? And what's, so I, I think that's a brilliant insight on yours that we should do something to highlight that there are people with concerns. And uh, we'll see if that's something that I can help with. But I'd be Yes, ma'am. By chance, have you read the bill? I have read, uh, I have read the bill. Although I will tell you that I read the bill, it's a thousand pages or so. I read the bill um, and I got to the part where they started going into some of the related to the, the other Medicaid and Medicare portions. That's and important. I, and I, have, I haven't read, but what I said to someone is you can't say you read the bill if you don't go to where it sends you. And I can't say that I've gone to all where it sends you. But I have read, I have read through the bill and I've certainly seen one of the things that sort of kills me when he answers the question that he hasn't read the bill is there's enough. Uh, there are enough non-Democrat uh, or non-Pelosi people analyzing the bill that would sort of send you to look at it. Like, I don't know if you've been getting the emails I have where people say, look at page whatever and yeah. go through the bill. You would think to yourself, well, that summary I got must not have given me, if you're Russ Garner, must not have given me everything. I'll go to the bill and look at it. He seems to not be doing that. But, yeah. So I have a little more work to do on that, but I have, uh, I have spent a good amount of time, too much time, even though my wife First of all, when I printed it out, I used you know two reams of paper, and she said, "What are you printing now?" And I, said, I said, "Don't worry about that." I said, "Don't wait till I print the other some of the other stuff." But yes, sir. After what Carnahan's done the last couple of days, I'd like to congratulate you on winning the election. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's nice of you to say, but I will tell you this: no. that there's a reason why uh, there's a re I will really challenge on that. Uh, there's a reason why. Uh, incumbents like him will now not go out and do debates, not care that people are saying, I want to hear my voice. And the reason why is they're going to sit behind their desk, raise money from special interests, and three weeks before the election, you won't recognize the television commercials and what they do to me and what they do to him. Which is why I'll tell you that I, I, the Tea Party on the 15th of April, which by the way is a footnote, do you know that uh, cost of government day is coming up? It might have passed. It might September 3rd. Is it September 30th? Fiscal end of the year, September 30th. No, 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 no. Cost of government. Cost of government in the day is in the calendar year. If you add, if you add the tax burden of federal plus state in each state, you get a day. And I think it's August 10th. It could be August 10th. It's right around now. In other words, everything you've done until now is, go, is just to pay for what government's done. The rest of the year you can keep for yourself. Yeah, well, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, it's moved all the way back. Oh, come on. That'd be so <laughs> <amazing>. <laughs> don't wait, don't wait, wait, wait another, hey, wait for this, wait for this, it'll be, it'll be Christmas. It's just been 13 months. That's so 20th century. Yeah. 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 The first tea party, April 15th. Yeah, that was the second one. I'm not what sure what they were going to do to you on yeah. commercials and how the money. I don't know. I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it. Sorry. You're very good, though. That should be our that should be recording secretary. More, more ways than one. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I know.
need a lawyer. Oh, I know, a good one. I know a good one. I do. You're my clerk. Wait, you the other ones in the room. Yeah. Usually, it's, uh, it's been a tough district for conservatives the past mm -hmm. 70 years or so. What is your strategy going in? Oh, you're a good man. I can answer that. I can go back to the same question. Okay. Here's what someone said to me. Came, you know, there were. I asked a policeman on at the April 15th rally in Keener Plaza. I said, you know, how much is it? Because the, 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 the Metropolitan Police, the apparatus will come up with a number after consulting with others, and they'll tell you, you know, like when Obama came, it was supposed to be 100,000 people. I asked the cop that was there, I said, how many went through the magnetometer? Because that was to get down to the, he said it was like 15,000. So there wasn't 100,000. This is what, remember, Claire McCaskill said it was 100,000, and everyone went, 100,000, so we'll say it. Which is why at the tea party, I said, I asked the policeman, I said, what is it? He said, you fill all of Kena Plaza, all the places here. He said, this will, this will hold about 12,000. He said, I said, well, what do you think it holds here? I mean, what do you think we have here? And he said, well, it's about two-thirds full, maybe three-quarters. So I'd say between nine and 10,000. And then, of course, I went around saying, I've talked to an official. And the official count is nine or ten thousand, but it was somewhere between seven and ten thousand people. And a Democrat, liberal, sort of acorn type came up to me. I'll tell you why I know her. And she said, "Man, this is unbelievable." She said, "This is incredible. These people here are not the usual people at rallies. This is, you know, some are, but this is unbelievable." And then she said, uh, "Boy, thank goodness the election is, you know, nineteen months away." <laughs> she said, wow. "Because that was, a, that was the point." And and you know what we have to realize is the energy that's happening now will is is you know is going to some of us by dint of energy levels will get tired and most of us will get back to our jobs and you know we most of us are not working for acorn where you can just not work and do this all the time we're working for government where you can do it all the time i'll tell you acorn i took on acorn twice in my life i'm very proud long before it was fashionable um, I like to tell people that when I graduated from law school, I became a community organizer. <laughs> no, I'm just I went to work for my church, worked for my church, and we had an office that was dedicated to human rights. And so the office had been sort of, uh, I think, poorly focused, and so we got back to focus on <coughs> things like, wait for it, you know, family and empowering families to get education for their kids, and and what do you do about end of life, protecting our seniors, and the human rights you might think the unborn for my faith, and one of the groups that used to get money from my office was this group, ACORN. And I looked at them, and they were funding through ACORN, and everything passes through to various places, and they were funding a group that was, you know, sort of militantly against what my church stood for. So, <coughs> I cut them off, and they came into my office and said, you can't do that. Do you know what people will say? And I said, I don't know, I work for my church, and I know my church members give money, and they have to give money, and then they, if, they, if they could figure out that it went here, they'd be pretty upset, that's who I care about, and I got this boss, that can, they said, you don't understand, you know, we're working with the people. And I said, well, I got this group of people I'm working with too here, you know, so, so I cut them off there, and that was kind of ugly, but that was just a, a funding source. Flash forward a few years later, and I was chairman of the Board of Elections in the city of St. Louis, and we started referring them to, for prosecution because they hadn't been referred for prosecution, because they had willing accomplices in the election authorities. Little known, poor attended to secret, after the 2000 election, the left realized the most important job in America is Secretary of State in swing states. Mm -hmm. Catherine Harris had the ability to say in Florida, let's call the votes who voted. I mean, you can say what you want about her. I think that at various times, even the Republicans, Democrats, and Curtis, she said, and so what did they do? They went across America, and they ran candidates for secretary. And right now, it is the senator. Ask around. In Minnesota, they, in, uh, I'm getting to it. I'm building up. In Minnesota, in Minnesota, they, they, put a, they had a technocrat. Well, guess what she, I think it was a she, did for 20 years? She ran really good elections in Minnesota. They had like three parties and all sorts of stuff. They ran good elections. Famously good. And they got rid of that person and they put in 